What's up, YouTube? Today, today, we're going on an adventure. Not really. I'm going to the dentist, and then I'm going to take myself out on a date. Because it's one of those days, um, and I've been at work all week. So, I think I deserve to go out on a date, so that's what we're going to do. You know the thing about dentists is, I've never had, like, a, a mean dentist. I've never had a dentist whose personality was, like, an awful person. But, um, I think the fact that dentists are dentists made people not like them. Like, when you hear that, I don't like the dentist. I don't like the dentist. I have braces for four years. I go, like, two times a year. I try to, like, I'm supposed to. But I don't like the dentist. I don't. Just because you're in my mouth. And, you know, it's very personal. It's a very personal place for you to be is in my mouth. So I don't like the dentist. I even told my dentist, I'm like, I'm sure you're a nice guy. Like, your personality sounds cool. You're funny. I'm like, if we, if I met you, <clears throat> if I met you somewhere, like, if we were out on the street or chilling something on me and I saw you, I'd be like, you're a cool guy. You're a really cool guy, but you're a dentist. So I don't like you. But, yeah, I'm taking myself out on a date. My dentist appointment is not part of my date, though. That would be a fun date. Take you to the dentist, girl. Come on. But, um, unless she's, like, a dental hygienist and that's her thing. I'm gonna go see the monuments. Man. I love movies. I love theater. I love plays. I love books. And that's one thing that I'm really gonna miss, I think, while I'm in Africa, is movies. Being able to just get up and go to the movies, you know? You know what, YouTube? And it's a beautiful day. Just the fact that this day is so, like, nice and pretty makes me miss my motorcycle. I had a motorcycle. I bought more in my sophomore year while I was in college. And I used to ride that thing everywhere. But I had perimeters. Like, I wouldn't ride my motorcycle unless it was, like, at least 60 degrees outside. Because it gets cold on them things. And it's, um, it's 67 degrees right now, so I would so be on my motorcycle if I had one. But I don't have one because I had to sell her so that way I could pay for school. Sad. Okay, so what was I talking about? Oh, there's one. Hi, motorcycle guy. You know what pisses me off? Denver, wear your helmets. Wear your helmets. I ride around Denver all the freaking time and very like, I want to say like 10% of all the motorcyclists that I see wear helmets. Wear your helmet. Wear your helmet like the gravity of the situation is you are on two wheels going 60 miles per hour do you know what happens if you fall off of your two-wheeled automobile going 60 miles per hour you if you could die that's why they call motorcyclists organ donors and then the fact that you're riding around without your helmet on makes we other motorcyclists who wear their helmets they make people think that we're we're dumb too and we're not dumb like i understand the physics of a situation when you ride a motorcycle like your brain your brain your skull is three pennies thick three pennies thick at its thickest part go get three pennies that's how thick your skull is at its thickest part at its thickest part at its thinnest part it's like a pity thick you know so it's like all you need is one not even decent bump on the head and your skull's cracked and your brain's leaking out of your skull and you're an organ donor you're an organ donor oh that's so annoying wear your helmets but nice beautiful sunny days like this make me miss my motorcycle i learned my lesson the hard way i always i always used to wear a helmet i still have my motorcycle jacket and i would wear my motorcycle jacket just because it made me look cool and sexy so i would walk around campus with like my helmet and my motorcycle jacket in my hand because i look like a badass and you know the ladies like the badass when i first bought my motorcycle i got it from this guy who um, was on farm it was his son's motorcycle and he was selling it and um, his his driveway, he had a gravel driveway. And if you're a motorcyclist, you know that gravel is like the scariest fucking thing in the world to us. Now, when I did the test drive on the motorcycle, I rode her up the gravel driveway. Good. We got on the street. We were good. I took her around the block a couple times, you know, trying to get into all the gears, see how everything felt, see how everything sounded. And I really liked her. I came back and said, this is my motorcycle. I like her. Now, here's where I messed up. I um, had my helmet, but I did not have my jacket. I also had on shorts and boots. 
So that's where I fucked up. I didn't have on proper motorcycle wearing attire. Dumbest mistake I ever made. So we do the test drive, come back. I'm like, I like this bike. I want her. She's in my price range. She's pretty. She's blue. I named her Mystique. I'll post a picture at the end of this so you can see my baby when I had her. Um, but yeah, so I said, yeah, I want the bike. I'm gonna take the bike. And the guy was like, cool. Um, so, you know, I'll wait until you come bring your tractor or whatever you're gonna use to take it home. And me, I was like, no, nah, no, nah, it's my bike. I'm gonna ride her home right now. And the guy looked at me like, you sure like you don't have proper motorcycle riding clothing on and I was like nope but I'm a rider I'm a rider home right now we live up the street we'll make it and he was like okay so I go to ride up this gravel driveway mind you I just got up this gravel driveway with no hard times none of that I'm going up this gravel driveway and I don't know what happened but like my bike slid from under me on the gravel and the next thing I know we're both down and we're both rolling down this hill homie homie dude so I'm with my friend I got one of my good guy friends with me he, so he he's in the car he's in the car in front of me and he um had already driven up the driveway he's sitting on the road he's waiting for me to come up so I try to get up this this gravel driveway and boom goes mystique and down goes me and we ride down this hill together girl so we're down on the um back in this guy's like off the gravel driveway and the guy and his wife come and she's like freaking out she's like oh my god she's being a mom because this was her son's bike so she's being a mom because i fell off the bike she's being a mom and my friend gets out the car and he's like flipping out he's like oh no i saw you go down that's not supposed to happen blah 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 blah, blah. and me i'm like fuck man i just got you i just got you i just did this what's going on i just did this i just rolled up this hill so we come down the hill dude and i got this is you see this right here up under the defy the scar that's this big this right here yeah this is what happened i had my bike i had just paid for i had it for less than five minutes and this is what happened this is what happened so um the wife she comes and she bandages me up and the guy's looking at me like, do you, you still want to take her? Do you want to take you still? You pay for it. It's yours. Break it. You bought it, you know? So I'm like, nah, we're good. We're cool. We're cool. And me and my friend, we get on the highway. We get out of this, like, and mind you, we're, like, in, like, I swear we were in Lynchville. Like, it's us two little black kids. We're driving around this neighborhood, and it looks like Lynchville. It looks like, like, at any moment... The KKK is going to come and set us on fire. That's how it looks. We were in Lynchville. Mind you, I was in Missouri. So that's why it looked like I was in Lynchville. Because it was in Lynchville. It was in Missouri. So we're driving home or whatever. And my friend um, waves me down. He's like, car's running out of gas. Car's running out of gas. I said, cool, because the bike needs gas too. Where's your helmet? I put some gas in the car. I put some gas in the bike. And while I'm walking um, from the bike to the car, I'm like, my freaking leg hurts my leg hurts a lot why does my leg hurt so much you know why my leg hurts so much because my dumb ass has on shorts and boots and my bike is hot motorcycles get hot my bike burned me i had an exhaust burn and i think it actually happened when we went down i'm pretty sure that's when it happened is when we went down but i didn't feel it when we went down because i was more focused on like the immediate thing which was my arm. So I'm like, my leg hurts. I look down at my leg and, dude, there's this just gigantic bubble. It's this humongous bubble sitting on top of my leg on the side of my cap. I'll show you a picture of that scar too. I'm driving. Can't do that. But I park the bike. I get in the car. I take my friend home. And, like, he, he's like, are you okay? Are you cool? Are you all right? Are you sure you're cool? You want me to stay? I'm like, you're such a good person, sir. But no, I'm straight. Sure good. I get home and I'm staring at this welt on my leg, which is ginormous. I'm staring at this awesome little patch of road rash that I got, which is also ginormous. And that is the first day that I have my motorcycle, Gene. Trial by fucking fire. So now you know why you should always wear proper motorcycle gear. Here's those pictures, I promise. I'm going to check y'all next Tuesday. If you need something from me, hit me in the comments or on Twitter at I'm underscore and underscore educator.
Bye.